Hi friends, welcome. I'm so excited to be with you today. My name is Mr. Lucas. And I'm Miss Dorothy. Friends, do you remember what kind of friend we like to invite to our big God story? Yeah, he likes to help us dig, dig, dig into God's word. That's right, it's a hedgehog. Do you remember his name? So good, it's right, it's Hamilton. Let's see what Hamilton's doing. Now he's a sleepy little fellow, isn't he? Well, sure. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Ooh. Pastor Lucas, he's really yawny and stretchy. Oh. Good morning, <laughs> sunshine. <gasps> what do you have here for me? <gasps> oh. oh, here, let me hold that for you, Hamilton. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Friends, Hamilton has a clue for our big God story. Whoa. Hamilton, I'm so glad you joined us today. Hamilton, look, look at this. Hamilton brought a picture, a picture of the world with lots of different people. I, can you see them all? Wow, we, I wonder why. Hmm. Why do you think Hamilton brought this? It's so big. It probably has something to do with the big God story. I think you are so right, Pastor Lucas. Mm -hmm. So good. Hamilton saying yes. Now, we have to look at the big God story in a book. Do you guys remember what book we're going to look into? Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to hear about the big God story coming from... Oh, Hamilton, help me, help me. Oh, oh, the truth. Yeah, that's a big, big book. Whoa. It's heavy with truth. This is the big God story. Are you ready? All right, everyone, stand up and we'll sing our Bible song. Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word, so let's look in the Bible. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Milana, and today I want you to listen very carefully while I'm telling the story, because every time I say the words, good news, I want you to give me a thumbs up with both hands. So let's practice. When I say the words, good news, what do you do? That's right, you give me two thumbs up. Great job. Let's get started. Boys and girls, if you have friends, I want you to raise your hands high above your head and give them a good wave. Oh, look at all those hands, that's fantastic. I have friends too. Did you know that Jesus had good friends? Mm -hmm, it's true. He had 12 very special friends that are called the disciples. Jesus taught his disciples all about God and his great big love for them. Jesus also told them to go and tell all of the people in the world everything that they knew about God and his love. This was a very important job. Jesus taught them so much, and now it was their turn to go out and share the good news with all people. Friends, who is the good news? That's right, Jesus is the good news. Do you think God wants just one or two people to know about him? Or does he want everyone to know about him. You're right, he wants the whole world to know about him. Just like in Hamilton's picture, God wants everyone in the whole wide world to know him. Jesus told his friends to go into the world all over the place and tell all people about the good news. Who's the good news? Jesus is the good news. He is the way to be with God forever. And that is good news. Jesus' disciples did just as he said. They went all over the world and told people about God's love. They told people how Jesus died on the cross for their sins. But the good news is that he didn't stay dead, did he? Nope. On the third day, Jesus rose from the grave. He's alive, and because of Jesus, all people can know God and be with him forever. And what is that called? That's right, good news. That's something to be very excited about. Before Jesus left and went up into heaven, 
he promised that he would always be with his friends, no matter where they went or what they did. Jesus promised that he would also be with them. And God is always with us too. Who's always with us? That's right, God is. Who's with us when we're at home? God is. Who's with us when we're happy? God is. Who's with us when we're sad? That's right. God is always with us. God made us and loves us and wants to be, wants us to be with him forever. So Jesus' friends told everyone that Jesus is the good news. And we can tell everyone that Jesus is the good news too. And he will always be with us. We're gonna give them some love. Whoop, there we go. By sharing the good news. We'll put one more on. This person over here. Look at that. We're sharing God's love. Friends, let's pray together and thank God for the good news, Jesus. Let's fold our hands and close our eyes and you can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. And thank you that he is the good news. We want to share him with the whole world so that everyone can know how much you love them. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for listening so well, friends. I'll see you next time, bye. Friends, it's so important that we tell others about Jesus because Jesus is the good news. I wanna say our memory verse together today. God helps us share the good news because he's always with us. Let's say it together. The Lord is ready to help all those who call out to him. Psalm 145, 18. That's awesome. Shall we say it together, Pastor? Yeah, Lewis? I'd okay. love to. Oh, Let's boy. do it together. Ready? The Lord, Lord is ready, ready to help all those who call out, out to him. him. Psalm 145, 18. Great job, everyone. And that's a good verse because sure when is. you need God's help, you can call. Well, it sure is fun learning together that Jesus is the good news. We hope you'll join us next time. And remember, God loves you so much. We do too. See you soon. Bye.